once a Zen monk who wanted to find the secret to living a fulfilling life. He had spent years studying and meditating, but he still felt that something was missing. One day, he decided to embark on a journey to find his true purpose in life. He left his temple and traveled to a distant village in search of answers. As he walked through the village, he noticed an old man sitting on a bench with a large hourglass next to him. The monk was intrigued by the hourglass and asked the old man what it was for. The old man replied, This is an hourglass. It measures time. The monk was puzzled and asked, What is time? The old man smiled and said, Time is what we have. It is the most precious gift we are given, and yet, we often waste it on things that don't matter. The monk was intrigued and asked the old man to teach him more about time. The old man agreed to teach the monk about time and its power. He handed him the hourglass and said, This is your tool, use it wisely. The old man then instructed the monk to go into the village and observe how people spent their time. The monk followed the old man's instructions and spent the day watching people in the village. He saw people rushing to work, arguing and complaining about their lives. He also saw children playing, laughing and enjoying life. The monk returned to the old man and said, I have observed the people in the village, but I still don't understand the power of time. The old man smiled and said, Time is a gift and we must use it wisely. We can either waste it on things that don't matter or use it to create something beautiful. The monk was still confused and asked the old man to explain further. The old man said, Time is like an hourglass. We only have a limited amount of sand and once it runs out, it's gone forever. We cannot turn the hourglass over and start again. We must make the most of the time we have. The monk finally understood the power of time. He realized that he had been wasting his time on things that didn't matter and that he needed to use his time to create something beautiful. He returned to his temple with a newfound sense of purpose and began to focus on what truly mattered. The monk spent the rest of his life teaching others about the power of time. He taught them to use their time wisely, to cherish every moment, and to create something beautiful with their lives. He inspired many people to change the way they lived and his teachings became known throughout the world. Before we wrap up, we want to remind you that time is a precious gift. It is up to us to use it wisely and make the most of every moment. We encourage you to take some time to reflect on how you are using your time and whether you are living a fulfilling life. Remember, you only have a limited amount of time, so make it count. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the story of the Zen monk and the power of time. Remember, time is a gift that we must use wisely. We encourage you to take some time to reflect on how you are using your time and whether you are living a fulfilling life. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. The Anything is Possible Tribe. For more inspiring stories and life lessons, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay smile. Namaste.